Hey everybody, Russell Coins of Coffee here. In today's video, we are going to go over collecting versus accumulating. What exactly are those two things? And what can we do to make sure that your goals are on track? Also, today's cup of coffee is brought to you by Mia's Coins. So this is an issue that I've been wanting to address for a while now, and that is the difference between collecting and accumulating. You know, are they one and the same, or are they two completely different entities? And lately, I've been leaning towards the latter, and I think it's good to make a distinction between those two. So, you know, let's start with collecting. You know, I like collecting all the Jefferson nickels and I go through and I try to find just the best ones of each year and each mint mark. And every time I find a new one, I upgrade the one that's in the album and toss back the other one. So this is a collection. These are just rolls of 30s, 40s, and 50s nickels that I find in my nickel box hunts. This is accumulating. I used to think that this was collecting. And it's not because, you know, what do these do? I, I wait till I get 40 and I put them into a roll and then I take that roll and I throw it into a box and I just, I don't look at it again. That's not really collecting. That's not presenting something in a nice way. And so, you know, this kind of begs the question, do I still look for 30s, 40s, and 50s nickels in a nickel box hunt? And, you know, it's like, well, I have to have something to, to look for. And, you know, these guys, there's nothing really nice in here. They're all worn down, slick nickels. And so what do I do? Do I just cash these out so that I can have that money to hunt more coins? You know, what is this actually doing for me? Another example, again with nickels, are buffalo nickels. Now, buffalo nickels are a lot trickier. These you're not gonna find, you know, as much in your box hunts. You know, you're lucky if you get like one buffalo per box. So, you kinda have to go to a coin dealer or find them online and buy a bunch and just kinda go through them. And so I do have, you know, pretty decent buffalo nickel collection, but a lot of these have the dates recovered with nicodate. And, you know, I'm left with tons of rolls of buffalo nickels that have nicodate on. What am I gonna do with those? You know, some of these are, you know, partial dates or it's like a bunch of like 36s and 37s. Um, what do I do with these? Again, these just go into a tube. I decided to put it into like a, a nicer tube with a label on it. It's, it's better than this, but still it just sits there. It doesn't do anything for me. Now I will say that it's a lot easier to cash this in as far than to cash this in. Very um, reticent to cash these in. So I don't know. Do I don't know if anybody would want these or or what? You know, because again, you know, they're damaged with with nicodate. So I don't really think they make nice gifts. But they're buffalo nickels. I don't know. I find that I can solve for these. I just can't solve for this right now. Another thing would be foreign coins. So foreign coins are kind of different. You find a little bit in boxes here and there, and you can collect foreign coins. Now, I try to set aside nice ones, you know, in my binders that I find or I think that are neat, but the majority of them just go into a bag. And to me, this is not a collection. That's just accumulating foreign coins. So again, you can't really cash these out, you know, it's kind of like a, it doesn't, you can't solve it the same way. But again, so 
I'm at a crossroads where I really want to um, raise the integrity of my collection. And you know, when you're collecting, you're focusing on quality. When you're accumulating, you're focusing on quantity. And I want to cut back on my quantity and increase the quality. Now, this is going to be specifically for, you know, numismatics. Um, silver stacking, completely different story. That is the nature of the beast is to accumulate. You know, you want, give me all the silver. I don't care what it looks like. Just, you know, I want my big stack. Now you can collect it as well. You can find all the nice bullion pieces out there. You can try to find like the nicest constitutional silver coins you can out there. So it, it's just, it's a completely different subject. And you know, so this is focused more on coins. But the purpose of this video is I want you to be able to ask yourself those kinds of hard questions so that you can get your goals in line and actually have what you're doing work for you you know if you want to get if you really want to collect don't get caught up in the accumulating or if you do you know want a big bag of foreign coins go out and get a big bag of foreign coins you can get them cheap and you can get a whole bunch of them you know there's no really wrong wrong answer when it comes to that because it's what you want to do and I just hope that this video, you know, helps you get closer to your goals. Go ahead and let me know in the comment section what do you think or which style that you, t that you tend to lean to. I'm interested to find out. All right, everybody, this has been Ross with Coins of Coffee. I thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you would enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time.